We are a very violent society. We're violent in words and language. You cannot be for yourself if you're not interested in being for every other human being you meet. To pretend that you can be for yourself and not for others uh, is in my mind a terrible sin. I maintain that God called Dr. King and, and a great number of others of us to try to say to the nation, if you want a, a just and fair society, you have to go through the way of compassion and truth and love. You must look at evil or wrong or injustice and then find a way to do good to it so it can change it. The primary law of life is to love God with heart and mind and soul and strength and the neighbor as yourself. This is what we were trying to demonstrate and this is what I'm still teaching. Citizens of this city can talk all they want to about the fact that the police were fair and square and that they were only doing their job. But if their job requires that they stick a shotgun in the midsection of a 17-year-old boy who has his hands over his head and is saying, don't shoot, then we need... <laughs> if this be their kind of job, then it's high time. It's high time that we rid Memphis and this nation of that kind of working because we don't need it anymore. And this movement has got to insist that no matter what white citizens or some white citizens might say, we know what police brutality and harassment means and we are through with it and we want to see it end once and for all. Look at him, look at him.